Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss all the possible Lewis structures having formula CH2N2. In organic chemistry, there can be many possible compounds having same formula, same valence electrons but different structure. Such type of compounds are known as structural isomers. For that, let us count the total number of valence electrons. We have one carbon atom having four valence electrons, two hydrogen atom having one valence electron and two nitrogen atoms having five valence electrons. That gives us a total of 16 valence electrons. Now for the arrangement of atoms, we can have four possible structures. For the first one, we will arrange carbon in the center and the two nitrogen atoms adjacent to it somewhat like this and arrange two hydrogen atoms on any of the nitrogen. Let us put two electrons between each atom for the bond formation. This way we have used up eight electrons and left with eight more. This nitrogen needs six more the carbon needs 4 more and this nitrogen needs 2 more. Let us assign both nitrogen atoms 2 more electrons. This way we are left with 4 more which we will put in the, between carbon and nitrogen. This will result in formation of triple bond in between carbon and nitrogen. This is one of the possible Lewis structure having formula CH2N2. The name of this compound is cyanamide and this is its structure. Let us move on to the second one. We will arrange carbon and two nitrogen atoms in series like this and arrange two hydrogen atoms on this terminal carbon. Let us put two electrons between each atom for bond formation. This way we have used up eight electrons and we are left with eight more. This carbon atom needs two more electrons for complete octet. The nitrogen in the center needs four more and this one needs six more. If we put two electrons around central nitrogen atom, the octet of carbon and this nitrogen will be complete. We are left with four more electrons which will, which will be assigned to the terminal nitrogen. Now if we see the octet of each and every atom is completed. And this is the second possible structure having formula CH2N2. The name of this compound is diazomethane and this is its structure. The third possible structure is of the class cyclocompounds in organic chemistry. As the name suggests, there will be a ring formation. We will arrange carbon and nitrogen in such a way that it will form a loop-like structure and attach two hydrogen atoms to carbon. Let us put two electrons between each atom for bond formation. This way we have used a total of 10 electrons and we are left with 6 more. As we can see, carbon atom has its octet completed. Remaining two nitrogen needs 8 more. But we have only 6 in our hand. So to overcome this problem, we will arrange two electrons in between nitrogen atoms and assign two electrons to each nitrogen atom. This is the third possible structure having formula CH2N2. The name of this compound is diazirene and this is its structure. Let us move on to the next possible Lewis structure having formula CH2N2. We will arrange carbon in the center and two nitrogen atoms around it and attach one hydrogen atom to each nitrogen. Let us put two electrons between each atom for the bond formation. This way we have used eight electrons and we are left with six more. Carbon needs four more electrons to complete its octet and so will assign it four more. Now each nitrogen needs two more to complete its octet and we still have four electrons left. So we'll assign two electrons to each nitrogen atom. This is the fourth possible structure having formula CH2N2. And the name of this compound is carbodimide and this is its structure. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.